Bingham Canyon Mine, also known as Kennecott Copper Mine, is a 40-minute drive just southwest of Salt Lake City, Utah. This is the view you have on your way up there. In order to tour this incredible landmark, this mine requires a shuttle lift from the foothills up through the canyon and over the mountain into the mouth of this mine. This copper mine can be seen from just about anywhere in Salt Lake Valley. We're not able to get up and close to the big rigs, uh, the mine haulers hauling minerals, but they do provide this massive tire on display to put things into perspective. This tire has a width of just over four meters, that's 13 feet, weighs 12,000 pounds and costs over $50,000. It's a lot of rubber. This is the color of the copper you can see from the Salt Lake Valley. They provide this back of the bed of one of these mine haulers to give you an idea of just how big these are. The workers at the mine mention they, they hope or they plan to build a museum at the foothill someday, but in the meantime, they do provide this timeline of the history of this mine. I'm standing at the uh, first landing. They have another landing with more cool displays just down there below, and I still have not yet been able to look down at the throat of this beast. Easy access is paved all the way down to the views. This mine is the largest man-made excavation and deepest open pit mine in the world, which is considered to have produced more copper than any other mine in history. More than 19 million short tons, 17 million long tons. The mine is owned by Rio Tinto Group, a British-Australian multinational corporation. The copper operations at Bingham Canyon Mine are managed through Kennecott Utah Copper Corporation, which operates the mine. The mine has been in production since 1906 and has resulted in the creation of a pit over three quarters of a mile deep. That's 1,200 meters deep two and a half miles wide, four kilometers wide, and covering 1,900 acres, that's three square miles. It was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1966 under the name Bingham Canyon Open Pit Copper Mine. No matter where you live in the world, chances are very high you have benefited from this mine. You have either owned or you currently own an electronic device where the copper came from this hole. Your place of residence has uh, electrical copper wiring. 
and perhaps copper pipes that came from this hole. Though this mine produces mostly copper, it is also known for providing many other metals. For every one ton, that's 2,000 pounds of copper, this mine produces six pounds of silver and six ounces of gold. This shows the size of the blade used on their bulldozers. And here's a diesel providing these massive mine trucks. It's Cummins. And this is the mouth of the excavator. While most don't even have a visual of the copper we use every day, because it is mostly hidden within appliances, electrical components, within the walls of our place of business and homes, it was pretty cool to firsthand witness the birthplace of an important mineral that helps make our world go round. Copper definitely makes life more convenient. While taking the shuttle back to our vehicle, it was noted this conveyor belt is transporting the minerals to the refinery. It is six miles long. As you know, conveyor belts are twice as long as the distance they travel, so they can loop back and around. That means this belt is 12 miles long. When I first moved to this valley 10 years ago, I thought it was an eyesore. Today, I think it's a beautiful landmark. <laughs> 